Welcome to UAT Tutorials look at free versus paid web hosting. This time we're going to be looking at webs.com which is a free hosting site. Now with webs.com like I said it is free but there are some premium sections to it. Uh, mainly it just takes away any type of ads, it gives you a little bit more email security and email functions, a little bit more storage space for any of your applications or videos, anything you upload directly to the site. Now, as I said though, if you do premium, you do lose the ads because that is how the site runs. So you will get a couple ads on your page. Now, compared to other sites, it's not as much of a nuisance. You'll actually get two ads. You'll get one near the top, which will be your standard ad, and then near the bottom, you're going to get one that'll be right around here that'll actually just say webs.com and have a couple links for other people to go to. So it's really not that much of a burden. If you go to the learn more section here, it'll pretty much give you a quick overview of all the features on here. A lot of stuff we're actually going to cover in this walkthrough. So don't need to worry about it right now. But if you do have any further questions on stuff, you can actually come down here. They have a frequently asked questions section. And it goes over pretty much anything else we're not going to today. Now to actually create your site, what you'll do is you'll go here to this box. Type in whatever you want. We we'll use UAT TUT. Enter in whatever password you want to do. Now what this does is it's your site address and username. As you can see, you'll have the ending here, which will be .webs.com. So that's actually going to be your site address. So when you click on that, it brings you to the next page. Here's your username, where your password was. And then right over here, it'll say if the username is available, which it is this time. Uh, if it's not available, that'll show up in red, and then it'll also give you a few extra suggestions, mainly just a bunch of numbers at the end of whatever username you try to use. You know, alter it to your liking and to make it work for you. From there, you only have to enter in the site title, email address, your year of birth, country, and your gender, and your account is set up. It's actually just that simple. You will get an email, but you don't have to do the link jumping to go back and forth to be registered. Now below that, you get to select the template for your site. Now it does say there's about 300 templates. Uh, what it is, there's roughly around 60 or so. And what they really are is the, the 60 templates, but they all have different color variations. So if you start off with the first one here, which is manual, starts off with a black and grayish one. And as you can see, if you click over, you get you know, four more variations. Works the same way with others with this one get a color change to some of your borders so some of them are simple some of them are you know decent changes to the actual color scheme of the website but that's how you really get the 300 there are a few premium ones um, it tacks on about another 2530 uh, but one of the big features of this actually is that you can create a blank one and if you have any experience using HTML or CSS you can actually just go ahead and design your whole entire website and that does fall into the free section so don't have to pay for that at all so if you're ever looking for just a new site to be able to build stuff with it actually works out pretty well so once you have your template set up just go down here and you agree to the toss and click on create my site and what it'll do is it'll bring you to the site we're going to next because I'm going to use a pre-existing account and it brings you here now this will be your jumping point to any type of editing you're going to do to your site and what you'll see first you'll see up here there's like a there's a view my site button click on that it'll give you a quick preview of your site might not have all the functions but it just gives you a quick look at it now the actual content itself is all right here what you do is you can either add a new page, blog, photos, videos, calendar, forums, or a web store. If you click new page, it'll open up a new one down here, and you'll title it, and it'll pretty much just create that page. As you see, you have about me, projects, photo gallery, video gallery, and a couple others. Pretty much you can just toss in any of those and edit them around. You can even change the order by clicking on the reorder pages. You'll just drag them around, put them whatever order you want them in. Uh, blogs page works pretty much the same way as just clicking a new page it just kind of sets it up more in a blog format now with the photos and videos we'll get into those more in just a little bit a couple cool features on them though 
uh, you can add a calendar, put in events, stuff for people to keep up to date with on anything you're doing or anytime you've done an update. Uh, forums falls into the member section. You can do a members only section of the site where people have to sign in in order to view the content so you can almost do your own premium section. Um, also they can leave comments about any of the stuff you posted up there. Uh, you can also do a web store. Basically just a small business site. They do support PayPal and Google's checkout. So with the premium content you do get a little bit more features with that but even with the free stuff you can actually get a nice little business site going. Now what we're going to do from here is just show you real quick how to kind of edit these so click on the one for about me and it brings up the site builder and you'll go to your home page which for me this is this one as you'll see start off up at the top you get your toolbar this right here is a drop down window for any of the sites you're going to have in your navigation bar some page options on what you can do with each of them create a new page just like you could on the on the previous page and then underneath it you're gonna get your content box which is any section you're gonna put stuff into some of the stuff you can add to the content box and then right here is your main text bars um, pretty much if you've used MS Word this is gonna be pretty standard stuff you know font size different style fonts bold underline text color it's the standard. And then also up here in the upper right is another template section. Now what that does is that's where you'll go in if you want to change your template. You can change the template to the site anytime you want. You can also go into the blank one if you want to go ahead and just rewrite it all or if you found a way to do it. Now the sidebar section here covers this bar right here. Now that is optional, you can turn that on or off since pretty much everything here will be linked to in your navigation bar. But this just gives it easier access and people can also see what you've done lately without having to jump all around your site. Now basically we'll get into how you add stuff here. What you'll do is this is going to be one of the content boxes. We'll get rid of that real quick we'll start a brand new one. So you'll go up here to content box, click on it you'll see it adds it right back. It already puts in all of the borders and design that comes with the template, background, and everything. Now to confirm if you want it there, you'll click on this green checkbox or the red one over here and it'll delete it. Now the fun part about this section is you, know, you can put it in your title, name it, whatever you want, change the color and everything, but the actual content box itself allows for a lot of functionality. As you can see it says add text, images, video, widgets, and etc. Now what it means by that is if you actually go into the content box and you go back up here, click on photo, any images you've already added to the site you can access, you can upload more from your computer. If you've got some from a website you want to use, you can just put in the URL or one of the really cool features is you can actually use photo bucket. You can search through the database or you can log in with your own username and password and it'll bring up your account and all the photos you've uploaded to photo bucket and you can pull them directly from there onto your website now the other one is for videos videos pretty much works the same way upload your video flash sound and that's where you would actually upload it from now the other cool feature almost like the photo bucket one is for youtube now you can't sign in with YouTube on here, but you can search through it. The search sometimes can be a little slow, so that's a little bit of a downside. But you know, so you can you still can search for it, or you can just go ahead and open up another tab or window, just find it, you know, copy that wonderful URL or embedded code, and you can just toss it back in and it'll update any type of videos for you. Go ahead and real quick, we'll go ahead and put a link on there too that works the same way link to another page or whatever you can change the the link text so it'll look a little different you can also change the color of it so it doesn't have to be the standard stuff when you roll over it and then from there basically like I said you'll just either confirm or deny it we'll close that one off and if you want to see what it looks like you'll go up here click on preview and it brings up kind of a skeleton version of the site. You just get a quick look at how it's really going to go. Close out of that and it brings you back to everything you're working on. Now the key one is if you'll hit publish, you'll see it'll update it, publish it, 
pretty much brings you back to the same thing but now everything's been saved you can just go up here exit out now if you click on view my site from here it'll bring up the full page so everything you've added to it, it brings it up everything is fully functional close that down it brings you right back to the site that's pretty much it for the walkthrough hope this was helpful and you have a good one